Hey, what's happening, Nation? It's Sanjoku. Damn, it has been a minute since I have gone live. I apologize for that. Work has just been going crazy. I've been putting out those upload videos. I've been having a lot of fun making them. So hopefully you guys are enjoying those. But we got a game in 48 hours, so we don't have a choice. We need to jump into this. We need to break it down. I want to hear what you guys think. I went ahead and put my top five things I'll be looking for on defense and the top five things I'll be looking at on offense. I just want to put mine out there real quick and then get your guys' opinions on it. And I want to hear your thoughts and see what you guys are going to be looking at. So please let me know what you're thinking. <clears throat> uh, if you're new to the channel, please do think about subscribing. It really does help me out and keep me growing. So let's do this, man. I'm the <clears throat> oh, Anthony, what's up, dude? James, what's going on? Kelly, what's good, man? Al, how are you? Pizza, what's going on? Yes, dude, it has been a minute. All right, let's go ahead and do this. On the defensive side of the ball, the main, I'm not going to say the main thing, but the top five things I'm going to be looking at, Damon Arnett is number one on that list. I want to see how his size looks. I want to see how his speed looks. I want to see if he has the potential to come out there and still end up winning a starting role, either right off the bat or just throughout the season, if he'll end up beating out Hayward. A lot of it we're going to end up seeing through the, uh, through the preseason and in these games. I want to see how much he actually plays. I want to see if he has any kind of injuries still hanging on or still lingering or anything like that. The next one, Tanner Muse. I want to see if he has the size, if he really has the size and the speed to play that linebacker position. I have a pretty good feeling that we're going to see a decent amount of Tanner Muse come Saturday. So that's going to be another one I'm really watching. Amik Robertson. Man, I really think he has a chance of not making this team. Like, I really do. I know people get pissed at me when I say that, but watch him real close through the preseason because if he's playing against these second and third string guys and he ends up getting torched a couple times, you're going to end us end up seeing us move on from a meek the next one on the defense is Hobbs man I want to see if Hobbs looks like he has the potential to be that number one guy to be that person that can come in and be that slot corner for us I think he has it I think he has everything that he like all the intangibles that he needs to be able to take that spot over I just want to see if it can hold true and if like you'll be able to see it on the field man if a meek's out or if Hobbs is out there and he's getting turned around by the second and third string guys or he doesn't seem like he's keep keeping up or if he's getting pushed around, you'll know right away if that dude's going to be cut out or not. And then the last one, Javen White, I still think he's practice squad or cut to be completely honest with you unless he comes through and really does something in this preseason to really open up some eyes. It could definitely happen through game time. He's going to be getting a fair amount of play time. So hopefully he can do something if he really wants to stick on this team. If not, I think he will end up going practice squad. There's a shot somebody plucks him off. But at this point, I'm willing to move on from Javen White one way or another. Before I jump into the offense, let me hit some of these comments up real quick. <clears throat> Oh, Alex, what's going on, dude? Joker, what's going on? Look for that pass rush. That's another big one, dude, guaranteed, to see if we can actually get some pressure on the quarterback. Dominic, what's happening, man? Oh, Mike, what's good? Been meaning to say thank you. The shout-out a couple weeks ago. Oh, taking my question about Hankins. I really like Hankins. I'm glad we got him in the rotation. Should be exciting to watch. Dude, that, that defensive line, if they can generate any kind of pressure, because we've not been able to do that for like three years straight, we got one guy that can come off the edge. You got Mad Max. He's either going to get in there or he's not. And then last season, he kind of stepped back and he was dealing with some shit. That is what it is. He hopefully is going to be back at 100% and him and Yannick. And then watching that interior pass rush and seeing, like, Hankins will be in there for the run. But just seeing what some of these new faces can bring, I'll, I'll take it, man. Uh, yeah, Arnett, Arnett's a tough one, dude. Rod, how are you doing, man? hope things are well out there in Mexico. Like the video, if you think Nazip is <laughs> James, you kill me, man. Little Shove, what's going on, dude? I want to see, oh, make some plays. He seems like more dependable backup. Dude, I'll tell you, Nathan Peterman and Marcus Merritt, they're two completely different players, but I do. I want to see Nathan Peterman. He's really, he should have this offense pretty much down at this point. That dude has done nothing except study this playbook and run this offense the entire time he's been on this team. And he honestly hasn't hit the field besides preseason in like two years. So we'll see. Tanner Hughes is my dude. I'm pulling for that guy big time. Anthony, man, I'm, I am too. You guys have watched my past videos. I'm watching him work his way up that depth chart and just actually... I'm sure that he's solidified on the 53 now. I'm not sure if he's going to be solidified as a starter, but he's going to be getting a lot of play time and more than just special teams. He's not going to be that special teams monster. I want to see this dude be involved in this defense, and I think it's going to end up making a big difference, dude. 
a meek a meek sucks kind of, man I, I think the writing on the wall is like is there for a meek i think he sees it but at the same time if he really shows up or if he starts making some plays during this preseason games and then shows that he truly wants it because when it comes down to like these guys getting cut or making the team everybody steps it up a little bit and you make some cuts after this preseason so nobody wants to be a part of that first round of cuts so we'll see what happens with them but i'm, I'm kind of right there with you Maybe the rookie more than Nathan Peterman, too. I'm really curious to see how much we see that kid, even through the preseason, especially since he just came on. Jay, what's going on, dude? I hope our net ain't hurt, but I can see Hayward starting because he knows Gus Bradley's system, plus he's a vet. I think he does have that starting spot locked down. I'm just curious to see if our net can win it back from him as the season goes on. Amik is barely treading water. That's a fact. At this point, God, like, that is a fact. What's up, man? Thanks for coming out, dude. Hobbs getting a lot of hype. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's getting a ton of hype. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say that I haven't been one of the guys that's totally hyping him up. He just, he has the look, he has the size, he has the speed. If that dude can get on the field and start making some plays and show that he can play at the NFL level, the sky's going to be the limit for that kid, and I am so freaking excited about that. Uh, <clears throat> any noise on Rasul Douglas? Surprised I haven't heard any from him. Dude, I, I was never sold on Rasul when he came onto this team. I had him... Honestly, is nothing more than a vet camp body looking to take a paycheck before he got cut off the team. Martin, what's going on, dude? I want to see that D-line and finally making a solid push up the middle. Yes, I will give you that. Why are we keep signing defensive tackles? We need more defensive ends. I don't know why we keep signing. And that one that we brought in today, shit, I'm live, so of course I forgot his name. But I don't see he's another one, dude. I just see him as a camp body. Just somebody coming in there taking reps. Gerald McCoy, I could see him being a D-line coach for us. Yeah, DeMarcus, with time, I honestly could. Y'all need to like this damn video. <laughs> Alex, I appreciate that, man. How do you go for a Q... Oh, who do you got a QB for Saturday's game, Mariota or Peterman? I think... I'm not sure. I'd like to see Carr come in and at least we're on one set of plays. I know it's only going to be like maybe a series, maybe even one or two. He might not even play in this first game at all. I honestly haven't seen what the prediction is on that. But I think Mariota is going to get a decent amount of play time. I think he might end up getting like that first half. And I think Peterman will get the entire second half. They might run Mariota for just the first quarter and then let Peterman finish it out and then bring that rookie in at the very end just to see what he has real time like game speed against some fourth string guys. But I don't know. I'd like to see it. I want to see all of them, to be completely honest. Hopefully our cornerbacks do the job. Yeah, dude. Shit. They have to, George. What's going on, man? Oh, 805. Thanks for coming out, man. <laughs> dude, it's so different going back and forth with you in the comment section or going back and forth with you guys live. It just, I don't know. Like, I've missed this shit so much. You have no idea. I'm like, I've been talking to 805. That's why I'm bringing it up. Kicking it in Yellowstone. Oh, dude. Sweet, Martin. That is awesome. I want to get there one day before my days are done. Uh... We're going to kill it this year. Bro, Koontz, 10 plus sacks. Bro, dude, Dustin, what's going on, man? Koontz was another one. I, I knocked him off the list because I was only going to do five on each side because I didn't want this thing to go crazy. I'm going to be watching Koontz incredibly close. I am not going to lie. I seriously like that kid. I want to see him be... A lot of people are saying he's like Arden Key, and that's why I like him so much, and it's really pissing me off, especially now because after I've seen what Arden Key has said since he's been off this team, that dude can totally go F himself. But Koontz, I really think, is another dude. He has that... He has that bend. He has the size, and, and like he's kind of tall, so he kind of can bend that corner. I want to see if he can do it, man. I was wrong about Key. I will admit that, but I am pulling for Koontz. Mariota gives the defense a great look when he comes in preparing for Lamar Jackson week one. That is true, and Gus Bradley honestly plays pretty damn good against mobile quarterbacks, so I really want to see how his defense looks in that opener. I seriously think we're going to end up winning that Ravens game. I'm not bullshitting about that at all. I seriously think this team has what it takes to get through them, especially week one at home with the hot crowd and everything hyped up behind us. I really think that game is a win for us. I'm not too sure what's going to happen after that, but I really think we get through the Ravens. We get some immediate momentum behind this team, and then that little push of just beating like a playoff caliber team right off the rip. You come out there at home. You beat them. You push in to the further into the season. That momentum can carry a team a long way, especially a young team like this. All right, let me go ahead and just jump into the offensive side of the ball real quick. The Foster Moreau, I'm going to be just making sure that he is fully healthy, fully back to speed. I really want to see how much he plays. Waller's not going to be playing, so that's going to add to his play time. But you're going to end up seeing Bushman and those guys that are behind him that I've talked about in that tight end room. You're going to see a pretty solid rotation of those guys. You're going to see Carrier a pretty good bit too. But I want to see Foster hit the field. I want to see Foster make one or two plays just so you can kind of see like where his head's at, how he's feeling. I think things will be looking pretty good for him. 
The next one was Marcus Mariota. I know we just talked about the quarterbacks, so I will keep this short. I just want to see him run a few series, see what he has, see if he's actually running the ball or if he's just trying to pocket pass. I really think Marcus Mariota is auditioning for a starting job in the NFL. So I think whatever play time he does get, I think Gruden might give him a little bit more because Gruden understands what he's doing. So I don't know. The kid, he wants to be a starter, so you've got to give him his opportunity. The next one is, this is kind of a group of a bunch, <clears throat> I want to see all the new running backs that we have on this team. We are honestly have an open competition for that third running back spot. Between Ro Regis, Groshek, and then Bo Scarborough, and Emmons, and then <clears throat> Jalen Rashard being out with a foot injury, you're going to see those back four running backs a hell of a lot through this game. Like, a hell of a lot. You might see Josh and Drake on maybe one or two plays in this first preseason game. They are not going to chance one of those dudes taking a big shot. But you're going to see those back four running backs that are fighting like hell for a job. You're going to see all of them get some carries. I want to see who looks the best. I want to see who looks the most comfortable. Maybe a few of them can uh, make a few catches just so we can see that. And then the last thing I want to see on the offensive side was just the offensive line as a whole. That offensive line is probably going to start as a unit for that first series. I really want to see how they look. I don't see them playing too long. You're going to see a ton of our backups, especially on that offensive line. We can't really chance... We have depths on the offensive line, but you don't want to chance any injury through some preseason bullshit before you actually get to the real season. You want to try to keep that starting five together because they've been working as that unit. So they'll get them in and out pretty quick. So let me know, man. That's pretty much what I had for you guys. I'm going to jump back into the comments, but that is my defense and offense that I will be watching for. Uh, oh, shit. You guys have been going nuts. Let me <laughs> scroll back up here. I think, I think McCoy is going to be a pro bowler this year. I'll take that all damn day. I'm anxious about Leatherwood and James. You have to be. James, I'm not too anxious about, to be honest with you. I know we saw like limited play time from him when Hudson went down, but he looked pretty damn solid, man. And he was a rookie that season. I understand he got burned on one or two plays. But overall, that kid being a rookie, stepping in behind Hudson and filling those shoes through that streak, he did pretty damn good. Leatherwood is. He's kind of a question mark, but being the right tackle, as long as he can just hold that edge for just one and a half, two seconds, I think Carl will be able to adjust and get out. Plus, he's going to have a lot of help on that side. Anthony, he's playing both spots. For, oh, oh, Yes, he is. He uh, will end up playing both. Anxiety up or down from last year? <sighs> Al, what's happened to me? It's up just because there's there are there's question marks on this team but like i said they have incredible upside to where if they do pan out it's going to be awesome but if they like if our all line comes out and just completely shits the bed next season look for a very long painful season that we're going to have to sit through and watch but if that offensive line steps up and they can open up holes for this running game for this elite running game and they can give Carr just enough time to get that ball out because we know how much he loves to just sling that thing fast and these guys on the outside in the <clears throat> two tight end sets that we're going to be running, if those dudes can start making plays, it, then my anxiety will be gone because this team is going to be winning games and just stacking wins, and I cannot wait for that shit. I'm going to the game this Saturday. Oh, Jonathan, that is awesome, dude. Take a lot of pictures, man. We got to dominate. Oh, that like, yes. Line of scrimmage each week, defense and offense. Artie, you're right. We have to. If you do not win in the trenches, you do not win football games. Lloyd, what's happening, dude? Miss being here, brother. Any update on KJ? No, no, I have not heard anything else about that. I know he came in for his visit, and then he ended up taking off. I, I don't know if he would have been like an immediate starter on this team, and I think that kind of was... I think he would eventually would have been, but that was, that is what made him hesitant to actually sign with us. So we'll see. I don't know, man. Not feeling it. Uh, uh, do you think Yannick oh, has a big say on who stays with the defense? <sighs> no, I don't. I think that offensive line, like, I think, I know there's been a lot of people talking about Yannick and Max kind of teaming up and Klee kind of being on the outside. I think that defensive line is seriously going to be such just a rotation of players on just a constant basis of fresh legs. And the depth that we have on that defensive line, that's where you're going to see this defensive line really have the difference is later in games when you're still bringing in dudes like Solomon Thomas or bringing in Yannick, who's a, <clears throat> who's been rotating in and out and still has fresh legs against an offensive line that's starting to get wore down. Or you get Koontz coming out there flying and ripping around the edge on somebody in the fourth quarter. Dude, that's going to be what makes it. It's going to be that rotation. Good look up Jags linebacker a few years ago. Talent Smith, he played just like him. I'll have to check it out. Oh, who shot me? What's going on, dude? Anybody know what's going on with Isaiah Johnson? He was another one that I was going to be keeping a close eye on, Gord. I'm not going to lie. 
I talked about it earlier. You guys know how much I love Isaiah Johnson. And I mentioned in a video a couple weeks ago that I didn't know. I said that if Isaiah Johnson cannot get to camp and cannot play in these preseason games, he's probably going to get cut off this team. And everybody's like, dude, you have lost your freaking mind. Isaiah, just like... Gus Bradley seen everything that he needed to see out of Isaiah Johnson when he played against the Chargers and he ended up locking down Williams and I was like dude like I get it but that's two games out of the year and this kid's been injured like his entire game career every time he gets out on the field he plays one or two weeks it looks pretty good then he ends up getting banged up and he's back off the field again if he can't be there through this preseason he can't be there through camp and then all of a sudden you're building your 53 you haven't seen this kid but you have guys on this team like the Lepsey and Hobbs and Keyshawn Nixon who's apparently stepping it back up you're going to end up taking the axe and it sucks because I like Isaiah Johnson so hopefully he can make something and end up coming back Foster 8 to 10 TDs this year market bro I'll take that Foster's a special kid I've said that time and time again I think Coots at linebacker is due to the fact that we keep oh we are deep at depth at the defensive end he is fast as heck we dude he is so damn fast with Crosby and Yannick and Clea McCoy dude <laughs> I'll tell you, you get that rotation of your defensive line, then you end up sending Coons from that linebacker around one edge. You send Muse on the other edge. Somebody's getting to that damn quarterback, and they're getting hit, and they're getting hit hard. Oh, Reyes, what's going on, dude? Um, I like Bo, big back. Man, Scarborough, I talked about him the other day. If he can end up making this, Scarborough's looking at this right now, and like he's like, all right, their number three running back's hurt. I got literally three rookies sitting in front of me. I have playing experience. I have size on all of them. If he can go out there and win that number three back spot, I'll take it, dude. I'm okay with Mariota getting some playing time. I am too, dude. And I will tell you, this has nothing to do with that. I just remembered it from the last comment. They have Groshek listed as a fullback behind uh, Alec Ingold. So I'm curious to see if he might end up making the practice squad just as like a backup fullback just to keep him on the roster. So keep a close eye on that one. I really think that's how he's going to end up shaking out with this team. After the starters and those two, that's it. Oh, I must have missed something. I did. I must have missed something. I skipped. I apologize. Mariota. And Peterman in and we lose. <laughs> I hope Incognito can stay healthy. I do too. And I really do because I think having that veteran presence on that young offensive line is going to make a huge difference. But at the same time, I really like Simpson. I really think that at this point right now, if Incognito went down again, Simpson would be able to step in and fill that spot. And if not, there's always a veteran guard you could pull in. It never looks too good. We saw it last year with our tackle positions. O-line, Galepsi, Moore, Drake. Muse are my top five. Yes. Galepsi is a big one for me. I really like that kid. Like, I really, really do. But he's another one. He's been banged up. He's just now getting back to practice. I'm curious to see how much we're going to see him in this game. I want to see a pretty good bit because I want to see if he can play at that level. In my heart of hearts, I want to say that he can because I really want to see him make this 53. I want to see a competent, functional defense. That's it. <laughs> El Brown Hollow, how's it going on, man? I'll give you that. I just want to see a defense that doesn't look confused every time the offense is about to snap the ball. They're staring at each other, still yelling while the play's being snapped off. That drives me insane. I'm not big on Nassib because of last season, but I think he's oh, he's better than Koontz. I'll give you not being big on Nassib because of last season, man, because that kid he was like a healthy scratch twice last season just because Gruden was pissed off because he wasn't showing up. He better step his ass up and bring it, especially if he's demanding that paycheck that he's getting right now. Any word on Waitman, the new punter, the Raiders signed? Just a camp body or is he? No, no. A.J. Coles are locked in as our punter, man. I promise you that. I want to see no injuries. Yeah, that's <laughs> Watts, what's going on? But that, that's the big, everybody comes out of this game healthy and we don't lose somebody that we're not supposed to. Koontz is a complete wild card in my opinion. He is. He, that's a straight fact. That's facts. Joshua couldn't say that any better myself, bro. Oh, Dax, what's going on, man? I'm glad you can make it out. Preseason, we'll see a lot of practice squad guys. I'm assuming, yes, especially like from the second quarter on in this game. But you're going to get to see a lot of these dudes that are fighting for like the second string, the third string kind of depth spots. You're going to end up seeing... A pretty good bit of our safety group. I really want to see that. I want to see how much Carl Joseph plays in this preseason. I guarantee that our <clears throat> the uh, they have Jonathan Abrams probably won't play too much. I'm really hoping that Trayvon gets to play a little bit and kind of get a few reps in his under his belt because I really like to see what that looks like. Say Jones was great in college and at the Senior Bowl. Maybe he has a slow grower in the pros. <laughs> Kabaski, what's happening, dude? I mean, that happens. You've seen players that have been pretty much washed out go into like their fourth or fifth season, and all of a sudden it just clicks for them. They either pick something up or the speed just finally kind of settled in for them. I'm, Zay Jones is probably going to make this 53-man roster as our final wide receiver. I just, I, I don't, I'd rather it be somebody else. I'm not going to sit here and lie about that. I got three players I'm looking at. 
Regis, Stoner, and Jerry Green. Dude, there's been a lot of talk about Jerry Green. That kid's really been showing up at camp. Stoner, I don't think, has any shot at making this team. I think he has a legitimate shot at bringing on our practice squad in case either Renfro or... Uh, Jesus, dude. The guy that we were talking about last night behind him. I cannot believe I just spaced his name completely. But I don't think, I think Stoner's going to end up being practice squad. Regis has a shot at that number three. What are your thoughts on Jalen Richard? Keep her cut at this point right now. I'd say we move on from Jalen. I understand that Carr loves him. Gruden loves him as just the third down back. And uh, I, I still would say cut him. I want to see what these younger up and coming kids have, dude. We know what Jalen Richard brings to the table. And he does. He, he plays a good bit on special teams, which I don't think those other guys could do as well as Jalen does. But we'll just keep an eye on it. I think the defense is going to make a huge jump this season. Top 10 is my prediction. Damn, Dax, that is crazy. If they can get top 50, top 20, I'd be happy as shit. If they went top 10, if this was a top 10 defense, our team would be insane, dude. Reem, what's going on, man? Blessings to you and your family. I really appreciate that, man. Same to you. I'm so damn ready. Let's go. Yes, Simpson looks like the most fit besides Colton Miller. Dude, Simpson looked like he was a damn brick shit house. I want to see Gillespie playing. Oh, in the slot, he locks down some of the best wide receivers in college, White, Pitts, Waddle, and so on. That is very true, but I want to see Hobbs play that spot too, and I really think Hobbs is going to end up bringing that. Uh, Watts do it live with Joku. Yeah, Watts, man, come on, dude. Me and you have been going back and forth for years now. Uh, Zay can't win the job for some reason. It annoys me wearing... Oh, God, yeah, I'll give you that, Anthony, and he can't. Like, it's always there off season. It's never there during the season. Carr can call an audible in the red zone. You couldn't call him. He couldn't call last year. The wide receivers not. Yes, dude, Artie Mack, you are right about that. I'm just hoping that Carr and these outside wide receivers actually come together and you start seeing our wide receivers getting like 7 to 10 catches a game instead of our tight ends getting 7 to 10. I want to see that shit spread out, and I want to see everybody getting a piece. What are your thoughts on Solomon Thomas? <laughs> I called Solomon Thomas being on this team before we actually brought him on. It just kind of stuck out that it we needed that position. We weren't going to spend a crazy amount of money, and Solomon Thomas was sitting there, and he did have the potential. I really like Solomon Thomas. I think when, every, when Solomon Thomas was great, everybody was like, the talent that was surrounding him is what made him so good. Well, shit, dude, he has talent around him now. So if he can bring that talent that's around him and step up to the player that he was before, I'll take that shit all damn day. We're not going to know until we see it, but I have his back 110%, man. What are your expectations for Ruggs and Edwards? I'm expecting Edwards to kind of become just that possession guy, like the, the crab tree for us, as far as like the most recent one, to where Carr actually trusts him and he gets in the ball and he's willing to take that 50-50 shot on those. Ruggs, I love Ruggs, but I want to see Ruggs used more than a freaking deep threat and a decoy. I think that kid brings a hell of a lot more to the table. I know that was one of the reasons Amari Cooper was so pissed about this team when he left is because he was a wider or a deep threat and a decoy. Wide receivers don't want to do that. They want to be a part of the offense. They want to get the ball in their hands, whether they're <clears throat> prima donna or what, dude. It's like it's what they've done their entire careers building up to this. I'm really hoping we use rugs in way more than we did last season as far as like slant routes, bubble screens, just different things like that, getting them involved in some of the jet sweeps and things of that nature. Until I see that, I won't know. So I am honestly have higher expectations, expectations for Edwards next season than I do rugs, but I think rugs could take the top off and end up getting 10 touchdowns next season based on nothing besides the fact that Carr's going to end up taking his shots this year that he didn't take last year. Is there any way to see it before 3 a.m. Sunday morning NFL Network? I, I'm Honestly, Al, I'm going to listen to the radio broadcast because I know they're going to end up playing it because they play all of them. And then I'll, I might figure out some way to kind of like cheat to get it. <laughs> There's different ways you could do that. Just Google that. Uh, I like Solomon Thomas too. I do, man. I think Solomon is going to surprise a lot of people. I do. I really think so. I hope Solomon is going. Yes, dude. Yes, I I agree. Zay Jones has a job. He's a backup wide receiver. It is. But no, man. Sometimes you see these younger wide receivers go on. You've seen Zay on the team for a couple of years. It never really clicked. The chemistry was there off the season, but not during the season. Bring somebody else in. Give them a shot. You never know who you're going to have sitting there who you bring on. And all of a sudden, Carr's like, damn, man, I really like throwing to this kid. And then, boom, you have a new connection. Uh, what do you think is up with Waller? I don't think anything's up with Waller. I think Waller is just legitimately hurt. He's still working out. He's still at the facility. So I've heard a few people saying that he's been, he was, he, uh, that he was holding out and he was going to be asking for more money. I really don't think that's the case with Waller. I, if it was, I don't think he would be there. Like I don't think 
he would be like working out, working with the trainers. Like he's had real close contact with those guys. It's not like he's avoiding the team or anything like that. I think he's really just going to be resting up. I think he will be ready for week one. I don't think you will see him through the preseason, especially if it's like a soft tissue injury or something like that. He knows all the plate. No, Zay Jones does. And like, that's what I was saying. Like, that's why I had him locked in as that final wide receiver. It's just because he knows the system. He's been in the system, and he understands what he has to do. Fleck, what's good, dude? Good to see you, my bro. I'm looking well at everything at the preseason. Dude, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just study this damn team. Is it an injury or contract that's driving me crazy? Anthony, I don't think it's contract. What are your thoughts on Tanner Muse as a starter? Dax, I love it, dude. You, I mean, you followed me forever, dude. You know how I feel about Tanner Muse. I was happy as shit when we brought that kid on. And I understand a lot of people get pissed off when you transition a safety into a linebacker. But the NFL is changing. The speed at that linebacker position has to be there. So if you have an oversized safety who's fast as shit, and in today's NFL, you transition him just to see what he can bring. And Muse, I think, has really made that transition. He even put on some added size. That kid was looking freaking huge. I think you're going to see some pretty damn big things out of him this season. Waller just playing it safe. Yeah, that's all it is. L U two the Raider report. Oh, yeah. What's going on? This is, what is this new QB all about? Nothing. Just a Gruden camp body. You know how he loves to bring in his quarterbacks. There is nothing behind that at all. I saw McCoy's interview. Man, I like that dude. That kid, he really, that is like, that was a great interview. I will give you that. Volume low. I have to keep it low, Rudy. I'm sorry, dude. Try to crank it on your end. My uh, little ones and my wife are sleeping upstairs. Who is your surprise cut? At this point right now, my surprise cut but I think like a lot of people in the nation are going to be like, oh, damn, dude, I think it's going to be a meek. I think a meek's going to be the first person cut off this team to where people are like, oh, shit, I was not expecting that. You might as well let Moreau play now. Yeah, you might as well, dude. Uh, Sneed or Jones? God, Sneed. Thank you. That was who the name I spaced earlier. It's going to be, I don't think it's going to come down to Sneed or Jones. I think both those dudes are going to end up making it. As the depth chart was listed, Renfro was the starter. Sneed was behind him. That worked out well. And then you just kind of have just... Jones is kind of your special team, like true depth guy. Zay is a good blocker too. Yes, he is. And that's why you'll see him on the special teams. Tanner, they ask Anthony, yes. Do you think Ruggs or Edwards will have a better year? Like I just talked about that a second ago. James, I really think it's going to end up being Edwards, just number wide. John, what's going on, dude? How much good news can I get? <laughs> John, I appreciate you coming out. Alex, how are you, man? What's up with the black beard? Good to see you, man. I could be like the poster child for just for men. <laughs> The Raider, the Raiders report all the game. Yeah, they do all day on Sunday. The new QB camp body. No, dude, screw that new camp body. Any <laughs> any predictions on who besides Carr will be the team's captains this year? Morrow, from what I heard, is going to end up being a captain. Dude, that kid is turning heads everywhere, like everywhere. And you know, Waller is going to end up being one. I really think they should give a nod to Colton Miller for locking down that left tackle position and holding it down so well. Players are all. Saying the offense and defense are both really challenging each other in camp. Competition at high levels in the past seasons, they say. Get, dude, it's great to hear that because if you're playing against a defense that sucks, you're going to think your offense is way better than it is. You're going to go out to that first team you play, and they're going to smack you in the face, and that's going to be the end of it. Oh, shit, dude. Martin, good luck, man. I hope you catch a few. I think so. Bye-bye, Robertson. Yeah, I think so. Amik has been having balls all, yeah, all damn camp. He's getting turned around. What do you think of McCoy? Not so jacked up like everyone else. Dude is like 33 years old. I don't know if he's still got... I think he still has it as just a rotational piece. I think you're going to see that dude in a very limited role. But I think since he'll be in such a limited role and he will have fresh legs, I think you're going to end up seeing him make a pretty damn big impact. Benson, what's going on? Yes, just stay healthy. Why is nobody talking about Klee? I talk about Klee all the time. And I keep saying Klee's going to play more on the inside this season. Everybody keeps telling me I'm freaking crazy and then I'm dumb. That Klee's going to be playing the outside. He's going to be part of that rotation. I don't agree with that, dude. We saw Klee play a bunch on the inside last season. He looked damn good. And Gruden talked about him playing on the inside. And he talked about him putting on size to play on the inside. I think you're going to see Klee as a big part of this rotation. Whether he's playing inside or out. Amik is an outside corner. He never felt like he would make it in the slot. No, he is. And they never really gave him a shot at that. And, and, that, and that's going to be the reason you end up seeing him get washed out. Who do you think will shine on our defense this Saturday? I'm really hoping it's Hobbs, dude. I really want to see Hobbs come out and just make an impact and just show everybody that the hype is for real. Costas, how are you, man? Incognito for captain? It's possible, Jerry. Uh, I was at practice the other day. Sneed's playing what? Oh, better than I thought. Dude, I like Snead, dude. I really do. I was happy as shit. That dude, he's an inside slot receiver, but he has, like, 
the size, and not necessarily the size, the power to just get open, to push somebody off of them, turn and be open. I really like that kid. I think you're going to end up seeing a, probably four or five touchdowns out of him this season. I want a Meek on the outside. It's a experiment that didn't work. Again, yes, they were known for one thing. It's failed experiments. Because Paulie G is not on the sidelines eating cheeseburgers with the Browns. <laughs> All right, man, that's pretty much what I have for you guys tonight. Just wanted to bring it out there. I put my five out. Wanted to hear from you guys and kind of get your thoughts on it. I do have to jump off because I got to get <clears throat> get to bed. I got to wake up with the kiddos early tomorrow morning. So I'll probably be back tomorrow night. I'll definitely be back after the game on Saturday. So until next time, guys, I'm Sun Joku. Thank you all so much for coming out. If you could please click that like button on your way out, it really does help me out and keep me 